having technological difficulties this morning. Yeah. Things are exploding. He was waiting for a computer to blow up and he's gonna have that like cartoon look where his hair's all bushed back and his face is black. That's what I'm waiting for. That's what I'm waiting for. By the way, Good morning, everybody, and I cannot morning, see. Morning, next time, not trying to make a phone call about taxes before we go live. Well, how is that supposed to know? Oh. Hey, you have to turn my comments on. Hey, I need comments. No, you can't. I, I have to have them. I don't know who's saying hello. Hello! It's currently, it's just Veronica and Kelly. Hello, hello! It's nice to hear from you today. <laughs> <laughs> we're just backwards today. Wow. Me and you, we're just backwards today. We're just having one of those days. Hi, June! Hello, Kimberly! We're backwards. Will is overly tired and angry at me. Go to sleep. How about you at the top? $30 free shipping unless I say otherwise. I don't have any bralettes or camis pulled today. Uh, we're getting a little bit of a late start. Sorry about that. Shark Daddy was talking to the tax people. Hello, Melissa. Yay, Jennifer. I'm happy you love them. Uh, yeah, Shark Daddy was on the phone with the tax people. Have you guys ever talked to those people on the phone? They don't seem very smart. I'm feeling better, yes. I am feeling better for sure. Definitely. So, for those of you that are in here, I have a topic of the day. How many of you do a keto slash paleo diet? Because I have some questions. Mercedes, your future son-in-law is wonderful. He's currently falling asleep sitting up. And Betty's husband's bringing me french fries as we talk about this paleo diet. Because <laughs> I figured I'm going to go out with a bank. He really did just fall asleep sitting up. There's baby. But yeah, so how is everybody? How's everybody doing? Are you guys having a good day? I feel like jamming today. I really wish we could turn the music up louder. Also, the lagging comments is driving me crazy. Yeah, it'd be grandson-in-law, but I get what you meant. I get what you meant. Your granddaughter is definitely really, really cute, Miss Mercedes. She is adorbs. Yeah, he fell asleep sitting up. Oh, my 
Good, waiting on your kids. Fun beans. Getting out of school, right? Eating a late breakfast. Ooh, Sandra. I had a late breakfast too. Um, I am tired, but um, I'm not like, there's like a different definition of tired, right? There's like, I didn't get any sleep tired, and then there's just like, tired. I'm just tired. Because like, I slept. I just, I don't know. Right? Great day. You can wake up and place your feet on the floor. Correct. Hi, Terry! Give everybody some time to get in. We have new tops. I am pumped. It was very hard for me not to take a few of these home. One, because I like floral print a whole lot. Hi, Kelly! And two, there's polka dots with floral print. And then I was like, ah! So I really want to take them all home. Thank you for sharing. Yes, make sure that you guys are sharing the video for a chance to win. He's going to be a hunk. How much is he weighing? He weighs almost 13 and a half pounds. Um, I actually weighed him last night because I was like, you're feeling really heavy. Yeah, because he's 13 and a half pounds. Which is very impressive when your baby was five, was five and a half at the start. So um, I'm, I'm pretty proud. You must, Miss Kelly. I think my, my Zoloft. My Zoloft is kicking my booty. Booty, guys. Booty. Because I'm open and honest with you guys. So they upped my Zoloft dose. And um, my new dose. My first dose, like, it made me sleepy for the first couple of days. But I've been on this new dose for almost a week. And I am feeling like zonked out. And I just keep assuming that it has to be an adjust in per adjustment period. But I'm like. It's one of those days. Yeah. So it is friday it's not my friday till tomorrow but it's everybody else's friday does anybody have any cool plans for the weekend i am going to finally take down my christmas decorations i went and bought toast at costco yesterday it's the only thing so far that i've broke my no spend month on because i bought three totes but i needed the totes to be able to put the christmas stuff away because um we had them in boxes last year and they got all wetty feeling because we keep them in an outdoor shed. It's like the dampness seeped through. And I don't want all my new grid stuff to mold or anything. So, I bought totes at Costco. Costco totes! Because for those of you that don't know, Costco has the most amazing black totes with yellow lids. They are like heavy duty. So much so that my kids were using them as airplanes last night. You guys are so quiet today. So we shook that. Everybody's just quiet. It's supposed to snow here, so no plans. Oh man. It's snowing everywhere. Is it a little, is it late in the season technically? What is late snow? Shuck that. What is what? What is late snow? Like what would be considered a late snow season? Late? Because like everybody's having snowmageddons right now. Isn't it late for that? I feel no. like it would be late for that. March is late. March is late? Late February, early March is late. As you can tell, we don't deal with snow. Fog, on the other hand, we had um, some nice thick pea soup fog last night. It took my husband an extra hour to get home last night because traffic was being controlled by the CHP. <laughs> it was crazy. 
No snow in Vegas Hills, right? The sun's shining here. Uh, the sun is slowly peeking through the clouds here. It comes and goes. Yeah, that's what I was hearing, Mercedes. I heard that you guys are all getting ready for snowstorms. Like, we just keep getting fog. Look at those snow. I was hoping. I was hoping just maybe we'd get snow, but we didn't get snow. We got a lot of fog. Any new camis? No, no camis today. Just some new tops, and then I threw a couple of old tops on there just to give you guys some more options. Because it's still chilly, obviously, by everybody who loves having snowmageddons. So I threw some of the, sweaty, the sweatshirts back up here. So you guys had those as options, and then, whew, sorry for the yawn. Um, Shark Daddy handed me some Valentine's tea that we had. Here in Maine, we get snow until April, May sometimes. That's too long. No, we have a winter snow coming here in Michigan. You guys are all getting snowmageddon. It got down to 39 last night in Florida. Yeah, Cheryl, the fog's been bad. Uh, my husband works in Fresno and then drives back home to Solari. And the fog's horrible. Uh, 1x through 3x today. 1x through 3x today. Where is your BFF? She's out there talking to Betty, Nadia. Couldn't you call her phone and ask where she is? Uh, we're getting three inches tomorrow into tomorrow night. Is that a lot? Three inches? Oh, uh, yeah. Too small. Told you I know nothing about snow. I'm like three inches <laughs> That would snow. Obviously, that all is snow. I have no idea the trials and tribulations that you all go through. Because we live in the valley in California where we do not get no snow. Oh, well, then she must be busy. This is our first big storm, three to nine inches, depending on which news you listen to. Well, I guess they can't, like, accurately count it, right? This is like, that's a wide variety of numbers. Three inches to nine inches, that's a lot of difference. Do they do that a lot? There's like, it could be somewhere in between. Well, cause it varies on where you're at too. They're trying to cover a large area. Snow's complicated. I prefer fog. No. Billy says, no. I do know because then they just tell you you can't see this far. Somebody was looking in our door. That was weird. Um, our blizzard of 79, we got 27. What? That's a where lot. Where's she at? No. Mercedes, where do you live? At least she said Indiana. We have blizzard in 78. And yeah. Something like that. Did you get stuck inside? You ever seen the Ice Fishes before? I don't remember. I have a bad memory. People abandoned their cars on the highway. Because they couldn't drive them? It came down so fast that they got trapped on the highway and they had to abandon the cars and they were buried. Wow. You had to make tunnels to get through to get on the school bus. Yeah, I'm happy we don't live in the snow. I'll take my valley fog. Thanks. I'm cool. I don't want to have to tunnel out of my house. No interest. That's too much snow. That's too much. All right, guys. Should I get in to show me photos? And then we're going to get started because we got started late today. It's not doing that. Kelly says we got hit hard that year too. For some reason my aspect ratio is all jacked up right now. There we go. North Dakota had a doozy in seventy eight. School shut down for a month. 
That's crazy. That's higher. That's crazy. That's too much now. Too much now, guys. I'm not comfortable with that amount now. Yeah, I'm good. No. I'll take my fog. Hi, Janet! At least my fog goes away. Mercedes said, yeah, sorry, I meant 878. Yeah, obviously. Carol says, hi, Shug Daddy. Ha. Huh. Yeah, that's too much snow. That's awesome. That's too much snow. Sledding, snowball bikes, sports. Well, you didn't have school. I had to do something with you. Oh, I was also four years old, so. But nobody had school. They had to do something with you guys. All right, though. Are we ready to get started? Let me see some floating emojis. If we are ready to see these new tops. Because I'm pretty excited. Because I want to keep them all. It was over the house roof. Yeah, it looked like it. That's too much snow. And then at the Great Lakes, you have a lake effect snow. Where the temperature difference from over the water causes, and, and, and the evaporation of the water of the lake causes additional snowfall. So they get they get they get snow even when there's not a storm coming through because of lake effect snow. It's like triple the snow. Kind of. That's too much snow. I'm cool. I like the fact that we can drive a couple of hours and go see snow, and then come home and there's no snow. Just saying. It's like the kid pull up a motorcycle ride on New Year's Day in New England. <laughs> no, I'm seven years old. Hi, Sandy. I didn't say I didn't like the snow. I said I like that I can come home and there is no snow. And that same year that I took my New Year's ride in the snow, I flew home into LA's airport, who was then getting snow. It was like I brought the snow with me. It was ridiculous. It was the first time my cousin had ever driven in the snow and we were coming up over the damn grapevine and i was like oh good lord and then they detoured us and then they had to scrape the road so like we were all stopped it was horrible and then it melted and we had floods well the water had to go somewhere that's too much though i'll keep my fog all right so as always, tops are $30 free shipping, unless I say otherwise. I don't think there's anything priced differently on this rack. I think it's all 30 it's all 30 Um, we have, I think we have a couple zero X's on the rack today, but it's mostly one X's through three X's. Um, a variety of different numbers for each, because some of these sets I was looking at, I think mom took things out of. The new stuff, yeah, it's uh, two or three items that she took. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was counting them and was like, wait. We're, we're, we only had one of those? That's weird. No, it's because mom took one. Um, so sold and the number is the way you're going to purchase. Okay, sold and the number. If you feel like you're being filtered through so you're not seeing yourself come up in the blue boxes, add spaces between your letters. Add a dollar sign for your S, a zero is your O, add some emojis. You can do all sorts of weird things to make it work, to have it pushed through. Mom, mom's trying to um, pass food through. What you doing? I'll be your friend track. Anyway, sold number. Send your email when I call your name. Let's make sure we are getting your email so that I do not have to ban and block you. Um, get your invoice paid within 24 hours. If you're in California, we do have sales tax. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about that. But if you live outside the state of California, as soon as you enter your shipping address into your invoice, it will be removed. Um, Otherwise, are there any questions before we get started today? And yes, you're going to have to watch me eat some french fries. 
because nobody wants to eat whole shrimp flakes. pigs in a blanket and baked beans for dinner. I have no idea what we're doing for dinner. I mean, it's lunchtime here. It's going to be eating french fries. Because I started my new thyroid medication today and I had to wait an hour to eat, which by the way is annoying. And so I had a banana and two granola bars and then Betty was like, we're going to go to the Habit and order food. And I was like, you just ruined my attempt to be healthy this morning. And I got french fries. Well, you really should not. No, french fries. <laughs> I don't think no french fries. Ever. That's why I think this paleo diet thing is going to be really hard. <laughs> Any larges? No. No larges today. Yeah, paleo cutting out gluten and all that. I don't know how that's going to work. You know what? Once we get this inventory done on everything else, I'll do a shot for that. Yeah. And I've got the largest separated from everything else. Hi, Eva! So it'd be real easy to organize. That'd be better. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Okay, I'm gonna grab a couple more fish fries and then we're gonna go. Wow. Yes, we all want Will to starve to death, right? Right? Shark Daddy's over there. Eating a giant burger. Bigger than my head. <laughs> giant burger. But anyway, so, have any of you ever done the paleo diet thing? Any good suggestions? Because my husband does the keto thing. But I don't know if I want to do the keto thing. Because I'm hearing that it pushes your cholesterol levels too far. I don't really want to die of a heart attack. So I don't know. I don't know. Not yet, Miss Eva. Oh, wait. Yes, Miss Eva. You weren't here yesterday. Yeah, I came back and um, your thyroid is supposed to, well, on this test, your thyroid was supposed to be between a 4.0 and a 4.6. And mine was a 344. So um, I have hypothyroidism. And then um, we're going to be running another set of labs in a week. And they're going to run all of my free teas. That's a fasting lab, isn't it? Yeah, I have to fast for eight hours. Which isn't hard. I just will try not to snack in the middle of the night. Because my appointment's at 8 in the morning. So it's not going to be that hard. I just get up and just go straight to the lab. It'd be harder if my lab was like at two o'clock in the afternoon that I would die. But eight in the morning is easy because I'm not even awake at eight in the morning. <gasps> oh, Mercedes, that's what I would do too. Yeah, I had a frap yesterday. I've heard those ninja coffee makers are pretty awesome for that kind of stuff. A friend of mine had one. Yeah, so I'm learning all sorts of things. So I was doing some research last night. Um, I have a friend who's an ENT, and uh, he was passing along some info too for me to ask my endocrinologist. So that was interesting. He called my doctor a sissy. That was even more interesting. I guess they started me on a really, really, really low dosage compared to what my numbers are. He was like, your doctor doesn't see. You know, was well, like, I, I think... don't really have an accurate count because you didn't fast for this test either. So. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting. Long sleeve floral deer patch. Oh, this is, so, this is the one I want to keep. Look at this. Yeah, it's not that I need to diet. Well, it is that I need to diet. I need to diet for the simple fact that um, we think my underlying cause, because of my genetics, 
um, is probably going to end up being Hashimoto's. So um, it's better to start the diet now, even if it's not. Mercedes, it's when your thyroid isn't working. And mine legitimately isn't working. Like at all, it seems. All right, number for the 1X is going to be 5039. 5039 for the 1X. So, Kelly, the Graves disease thing keeps coming up. What is it exactly? I understand that it comes with the hypothyroidism, but like what? I'm assuming it's probably close to Hashimoto's, but I don't know. Five zero three nine for the one X. I didn't want to look too far into things because um, when I doctor Google, I freak myself out. So I try not to doctor Google. So I was trying to keep it like purely Pinterest. <laughs> I was trying to not use Google. All right, two X super cute is going to be five zero four one. 5041 for the 2x. My screen's frozen. I don't know what this we told them. Ah. The chair saved it. They were still alive, but Hi, Amanda. Yes, these are true size. Show closer. Are they stretchy? Yes. I believe all but the blue crochet is stretchy. They are stretchy. With Hashimoto's, your thyroid can kick in and out. But with Greaves, it doesn't work at all. There you go. Thank you for the very simple explanation there. That's crazy, Kelly. Okay, so 2x is 5041. I only have one 3x available because my loving mother took a 3x. Number is going to be 5049. Yes, they are all $30 for shipping. Correction. Your mother bought these for herself, and then she sell what was left. <laughs> Five zero four nine. Cause she was like, I want these, but we have to buy them in packs. Five zero four nine. That's crazy, Kelly. You glow. I want to glow. Yeah, my, my, my only positive takeaway is at least, like, we got an answer out of it all. Because I was between, am I low in a vitamin or am I dying? Those were my two reasonings of why they needed me to back in so fast to find out that. I had an eye with that. She had bulgy eyes. Yeah, that's crazy. That is crazy. Did they cut your thyroid out? 
But here, that's the thing. All right, polka dot floral V-neck, one X. This is super cute too. Okay, so here's the deal, right? The seams are split. I really think, hold on, go up my knee. You could take each. Okay, well, they're supposed to be tied, just so you know. 5049 to Kelly Lyle. Gotcha, Kelly. But yeah, so, yes, that was the 3X. Yes, Will is getting big. He's getting really heavy. Mine ended up being caused by stress. That's crazy. All right, so the 1X. V-neck floral polka dot. Look how cute that is. You're going to tie your sleeves, just so you know, because they're going to arrive like this. I'd hate for you to be confused. Like I was. Five, zero, wherever that sticker went. Four, six. <laughs> Five, zero, four, six. This is going to be the number for the one X. They do a treatment that kills the thyroid. Is that so they don't have to take it out? Five, zero, four, six. Because my friend Rachel ended up having hers taken out completely. <sighs> Me too. I love the polka dots. It's super cute for spring. Okay, so that was the one X. I don't have a 3x in this one. I only have 1x and 2x. The 2x is going to be Next up is going to be the embroidered tunic embroidered. Ooh, this is so cute. <gasps> Look at our little tie thing. Guys, oh my gosh. Okay, so embroidered tun tunic burgundy. Let me do a count here so I know what I'm doing. I have two one X's available in this one. Super, super cute. What's it called? Um, embroidered tunic burgundy. Okay, super cute. Has little ties on the arms, the little tassels. Also has a tie up on the shoulder area with the little tassels. Super cute. Embroidered, which is absolutely adorable. Number is going to be five zero five zero. What was it? Five zero five zero for the one X. Uh no. Uh well, in my case, my thyroid isn't working and I'm not losing weight. And that's mom's case too. So that's hypo. And then there's hyper, which is where they can't keep weight on. Right. And then there's one of the cases where it enlarges, where that's what causes the eye bulging is when your thyroid enlarges. And do they lose weight? Five, I zero, have, five, zero. 
my app was not a very, it's not a very small return retrieve. It was a very average size, so. <laughs> We're all trying to work this out. By the way, I don't know how much stuff your thyroid did until last night. All right, and a 2x is going to be 6803. Yes, but now my thyroid is underactive, so I gained weight. Yeah, mine's underactive, not overactive. As I stand here and eat french fries. Six eight zero three. It is strange how it works. There's too many options. And the three X is going to be five zero four five. Five zero four five. Yeah, thyroids are weird. And they control so much stuff. Like, stuff that I didn't even know that they controlled. Like, I didn't realize that having an underactive thyroid would... Thank you, Maddie. Um, I didn't realize that having an underactive thyroid would affect your heart. Like, I didn't see how that correlated, but it does. It's always kind of a weird thing to find out. All right. Then we have the long sleeve solid top in the color mushroom. That's it. Alright, we have two one X's available. Super cute. Long sleeved. Long enough to wear with your leggings. This is a very flowy top. What's the color? It's gray. It's technically called mushroom. Okay, it is the 1X, number is going to be 5058. 5045, so can I do that? Gotcha, Miss Carol. That was embroidered burgundy into the X. Gotcha, Miss Carol. 5058 for the 1X in the mushroom gray. 2x is going to be 5047. 5047 for the 2x. That's crazy, Miss Kelly. I hope they get you all figured out, sister. And the 3X is going to be 5056. Okay, so what percentage do they say um, you need like a heart transplant? 5056. And how does that work? Is it like a kidney? Do you put it on a list? 5056. For real. Sixty percent is normal. Oh, that's good. It's crazy. I seen a video the other day of a lady who doesn't have a heart at all anymore. She just has this giant machine that she carries around in a backpack. I've seen that. Facebook? Yeah. But I was very shocked. Because I was like, I didn't even know that was like a I just thought they gave you like a pacemaker and the pacemaker is what kept you alive. Pacemaker is not even out. Her, her heart was toast. 
Is that what it was? So they got to pump the lungs on here. It was crazy though. It was like, wow. Yeah. She was like, I carry my heart in a backpack. And yeah. I was like. But of course, there's no little quality of life. She's got to take it easy. She's got the tubes that run into her chest. Yeah, yeah and she has a giant backpack. Yeah. She's on She's on what's for a heart transplant? For a transplant, yeah. Well, I'm a donor. When I die. Whatever's left of it. All right. Round that n round neck knit top gold mustard one X. I have two of them available. Number's gonna be six nine eight five six nine eight five. And these are super cute, super flowy, and stretchy. Well, I'm happy the meds worked, Kelly. I'm happy your meds worked. 6985 for the 1X. 2X is going to be 6992. I had to wear a life vest for three bucks. That is crazy. Crazy. 6992. And the 3X. I have two of them left. Number is going to be 6998. 6998 for the 3X. All right. Then we have the round neck knit top in cinnabar. I have a two one X is available. This is a super cute color. Number is gonna be six nine nine four. Six nine nine four for the one X knit top in cinnabar. It is a long sleeved, very flowy. It's a very soft t-shirt material. Okay, six nine nine four. The two X is gonna be six nine eight seven. 6987 for the 2X. And the 3X, I only have one left. Number is going to be 6993. 6993. Then I have the color block knit top. These are super cute. Number is going to be 6989 for the 1X. It is a long sleeved, super cute. It has the heathered gray along with the white and black color blocking at the bottom. Okay, 6989 for the 1X. The 2X, I only have one of. The 2X is going to be 5052, 6993 to Crystal Haven. That's the 3X similar. Got you, Crystal. Okay, 5052 for the 2X color block. What was the number? 5 what? 5052. And then I have two 3Xs. Number is going to be 6991. Eva, tops are $30 free shipping in the United States. Six nine nine one for the 3X. Next up is going to be the crocheted lace three-fourth sleeve in navy. I have two one X's available. Super, super cute. This is more of a um it's not, it's not very stretchy. 
Yeah, it's not very stretchy and it's a gauze material. Okay, it says cotton polyester, but it's like a gauze. Okay, so it's kind of see-through a little bit. But it would be nice and flowy and cool to throw a cami underneath it and wear it in the springtime. And that would be great. Terry Newkirk, 6991. 69. That's a 3X in new code lock. Got it. Got you, Terry. All right. 1X is going to be 5048. I'm going to turn on the light really quick and see if that helps. Sorry, guys. I feel like you're not able to see that. Okay. Super cute. Crocheted lace on the front. It's amazing. 5048 for the 1X. 5051 for the 2X. If I get the sticker off. There we go. 5051 for the 2X. And the 3X is going to be 5055. 5055 for the 3X. Just look how detailed this one is. All right. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. It is better to light. That's why I was like, click this on because I can't see. Are you guys having fun? All 18 of us? Really? So it's 17 of us? All right. So I have a couple of repeats from last week that I wanted to make sure that I showed you guys, especially those of you who are in the snow, because it's kind of chilly still. I have three 2Xs of this. This is the Knit Tunic with Elbow Pads in burgundy. I don't have any 1Xs left. Number is going to be 6110. Which burgundy is going on? Mm -hmm. 6110 for the 2X. And I have two, three X's left, and the number is going to be 6107. 6107. I have a couple of Valentine's Day left. They are all zero X. Oh, no, this is one X. I have two zero X's in this one. This is the Be My Valentine. Super cute crisscross front. It is a 0x, so it is slightly larger than an extra large, but not quite a 1x. Number is going to be 4497 for the 0x. 4497. Hi, Michelle. And I have one 1x left. This is relaxing, right? 5057 is going to be the number for the 1x. 5057. I pulled these dusters back out because these are super cute. I have a 2X and two 3Xs. The 2X knit duster in burgundy. Super, super cute. Numbers going to be 5061. 5061 for the knit duster in burgundy in 2X. And I have two, three X's left. Number is going to be 2761. 2761 for the three X. Keep getting 
caught on the thing. All right, knit tunic with elbow pad in olive. I have two, two X's available. Number is gonna be six, one, eight, one. Six, one, eight, one. And then I have one three X olive left. The number is going to be six one eight five. And these are super cute and super soft, maybe super cute. All right. So then we have the knit tunic with elbow pad in mustard. I have one one X left. I have two three X's left. So the one X is going to be six seven two eight. 6728 has the cute little elbow pads. All of these have pockets on the sides. Sorry, Miss Eva. 6728. And then the 3X is going to be 6105. 6105. Mm -hmm. All right, is there anybody that needs a number on anything that has been shown? $30 free shipping, Michelle. <sighs> Miss Christine Reynolds, it's 6185. Got you. Nobody has weekend plans. Nobody had any weekend plans. They wanted to tell me about it at least. Seems like everybody's gonna have a fairly relaxed weekend. We are gonna be back here tomorrow with a random assortment of leggings. So make sure you tune in. Um, yeah, I'm pretty pumped about that. I'll be back at 1 p.m. Pacific time tomorrow. I'm gonna have Shrek Daddy get me a shares winner. So if you haven't already shared the video, Make sure that you share it now. Oh. 2761 is Nick Duster Burton 3X. Got you. I was like, what? Miss Christine wrote down all of her numbers. <laughs> nope, we're getting snowed in. I know all of you too. It's crazy. Well, you can all tune in with me tomorrow. I won't get snowed in, so I'll be here. I got my niece's first birthday on Sunday. How cool! First birthdays are so exciting. Staying in and out of the snow. Yeah, I know you guys. Oh my gosh. Make sure that you guys have all the things that you're gonna need, like bread and milk. That's what I've learned. All of you need bread and milk, so make sure you have bread and milk. You won't die as long as you have bread and milk. All right, so Shark Daddy's gonna get me a shares winner. If you didn't know, you can shop the replay. So, to shop the replay, all you need is a screenshot of the item you want along with the color and the size and your email. Or you can send in the item name, color, size, and email. And if we have it in stock, Shark Daddy will send you an invoice for it. Super pretty easy, um, especially if you've missed the show. Um, 
be great. So yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with a random assortment of leggings. So make sure you guys tune in with me because those days are always exciting because I never know what I'm actually doing until I do it. Um, yeah. Kelly McMillan, are you here? Kelly McMillan. Carol, you're going to love it. These new tops are so cool. I really want, I really, 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 really want the first floral deer one and the polka dotted one. But I have to let everybody shop the replay before I start snatching stuff off their X. But the cool thing about being a 1X is those are typically the sizes we don't run out. <laughs> Kelly McMillan, are you here? No, my mom doesn't wait. She actually, um, this order was placed because she, um, wanted a couple of these tops, but we can't buy them just by themselves. We have to buy them in a bundle. So, um, she took what she wanted out of it and left me the rest. Oh. Good parenting. Based on the price of these, we wouldn't purchase these. Is that why? I'm also picky. We're not. All right, Kimberly. I am sorry, Rachel. What are you saying about me? That you chose tops off the rack. She threw you. She threw you, I did. I bought things that I liked so I could have them. I know that's what I'm saying. And then, yeah. Kimberly Hansen, are you here? What else? What? Else? I have good taste. Psh, tater. Matter of fact, I'm gonna be wearing this one tonight. I have my pink shirt on right now. Her pink shirt. Get ready to play a game to get the shares one out of the way. Uh, she's wearing this one tonight. That one. I wore the polka dotted one last night. The polka dotted one's cute. That one's my fave. And I wore it on date night with my husband. I told him I like that one, and then I like this one. I like that's my other favorite. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Those two are my fave. I don't know about the other one yet because I haven't worn it yet. So we'll see. We need to check it. It will. Priscilla Villa Senor. Man, it's hard to get someone away today. That's what happens when we drop below the 20 mark. Priscilla Villa Senor. There we go. Yay, Priscilla! What size leggings do you wear, my dear? Waiting for Miss Priscilla. What is one with the flowers on it? Mm, which one? The polka dot one or this one? Probably this one. Mm -hmm. It says flowers on it. She's a one size. I 
There's that one. And then there is ooh, whoop, the polka dotted one. Both are super adorable. All right, truck daddy's ran to get those. But yeah, like I was saying, I will be back tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific time. Um, I'm gonna have a random sort of my leggings. So make sure you guys tune in with me because you know it's always interesting on those days. You're so welcome, Priscilla. Thanks for sharing and being here because it helps. Um, yeah, you never know what's gonna happen on those days, so it's always worth tuning in. White, black, and red houndstooth, Miss Priscilla. Super cute. Adorbs, adorbs. Uh, Christine, the first one, I still have all the sizes in it. One, two. No, I have one X and two X in the first one. But there you go, Priscilla. Make sure we get your email address and your shipping address so that we can get those out to you. Give Christine a second, just in case she wants one of those. Right? They are super cute. I like those ones a lot. Sorry. I think she needed a 3X. I'm sorry. Somebody swooped it up already. All right, guys. I love you. If you need to shop the replay, remember to feel free. I will see you guys back here at 1 p.m. Pacific time tomorrow. I hope to see all your gorgeous faces then. I love you. Bye.